We all face difficult situations and obstacles. It could be a series of unfortunate events or always feeling like nothing goes our way. But imagine if there was a timeless philosophy that could help us navigate through life's unpredictable challenges. Stoicism, an ancient Greek philosophy, provides deep wisdom on how to change our perspective and stop feeling unlucky. In this video, we will explore 10 important lessons from Stoicism that can empower you to take charge of your life and develop a strong mindset. Number 1. Focus on what you can control. Stoicism encourages you to direct your attention to the pieces within your control, to carve a path through the chaotic mosaic of existence. It's akin to a skillful gardener tending to the plants they can nurture, appreciating the variables they can influence, and recognizing the wisdom in letting go of what lies beyond their reach. In the realm of personal agency, the Stoic philosophy becomes a beacon, guiding you through the labyrinth of life's uncertainties. It acknowledges that external circumstances are like the weather, ever-changing and often beyond prediction. However, just as you prepare for a storm by carrying an umbrella, you can prepare for life's challenges by honing your response. The Stoic mindset doesn't advocate passivity or resignation. Instead, it instills a proactive approach, urging you to assess situations with a discerning eye. By distinguishing between what you can change and what you cannot, you liberate yourself from the burden of futile resistance. This liberation is not about control in the traditional sense, but centers around the mastery of your responses and the choices you make. Consider a challenging situation, perhaps a job loss or a relationship ending. Stoicism invites you to introspect and identify the aspects within your control. Your response to the situation, your mindset, and the actions you take to adapt are all within the realm of your influence. In contrast, external factors such as the past or the decisions of others are beyond your direct control. By directing your focus towards the controllable elements, you shift from a reactive stance to an empowered one. It's a recognition that while you may not be able to alter the external circumstances, you wield the power to shape your internal landscape. This internal sovereignty becomes the bedrock upon which resilience and strength are cultivated. Focusing on what you can control is a dance between realism and optimism. It doesn't deny the existence of challenges but transforms your relationship with them. It's an acknowledgement that the locus of control lies within, an understanding that empowers you to respond to life's unpredictability with grace and purpose. As you weave the threads of stoic wisdom into the fabric of your daily existence, the mantra of focusing on what you can control becomes a guiding force. It's a shift from helplessness to agency, from victimhood to empowerment. In the face of life's storms, this stoic principle stands as a lighthouse, illuminating the path to a more resilient and fortunate existence. Number 2. Accept the nature of life. Life, like a majestic river, flows with twists and turns, meandering through peaks of joy and valleys of challenge. Stoicism beckons you to embark on a journey of profound acceptance, urging you to embrace the inherent nature of life, a tapestry woven with threads of unpredictability and impermanence. In the heart of this Stoic teaching lies the wisdom that, despite our desires for stability and predictability, life is inherently dynamic. It is an ever-changing landscape, where the only constant is change itself. Just as seasons transition seamlessly, so do the circumstances of your existence. Acceptance in the Stoic context is not passive resignation. Rather, it is an active engagement with the reality of the present moment. It's akin to standing at the shore of that flowing river, feeling the cool currents against your feet and understanding that you cannot step into the same river twice. When you resist the natural ebb and flow of life, clinging to a rigid vision of how things should be, you create a breeding ground for discontent. Consider a tree buffeted by the wind, rigid and unyielding, it risks breaking under pressure. In contrast, a willow tree, supple and bending, weathers the storm with grace. Stoicism invites you to become that willow tree in the storms of life. By accepting the nature of existence, you cultivate a mindset that is pliable and adaptable. 
Challenges are not perceived as deviations from an idealized path, but as integral components of the grand journey. Picture the unfolding of a flower. It doesn't resist the natural process of blooming. It surrenders to the rhythm of growth. Similarly, accepting the nature of life is a surrender to the unfolding of your own journey. It's a recognition that in the grand orchestra of existence, both the highs and the lows contribute to the symphony of your unique experience. Acceptance extends beyond external circumstances to include acceptance of oneself. Stoicism encourages self-awareness, acknowledging your strengths and limitations without judgment. It's an invitation to embrace your humanity fully, with all its virtues and flaws. In moments of adversity, the stoic acceptance becomes a shield against the arrows of suffering. Rather than railing against the unfairness of life, you embrace the challenge as an opportunity for growth. The Stoic recognizes that happiness is not contingent on a trouble-free existence, but on the attitude with which challenges are met. As you integrate the essence of accepting the nature of life into your daily existence, you navigate the currents with a newfound serenity. Stoicism doesn't promise a life without storms. Instead, it empowers you to dance in the rain accepting the beauty and impermanence of each droplet. In this acceptance, you find not only resilience, but a profound sense of peace that transcends the fleeting nature of circumstance. Number three, practice gratitude. Gratitude in the stoic context is not merely a ritual of counting blessings, but a profound shift in perspective. It is the art of acknowledging and appreciating the richness of the present moment, regardless of the external circumstances. It's akin to polishing the lens through which you view the world, allowing the light of gratitude to reveal the hidden beauty in the tapestry of your life. Consider a walk in nature during the golden hours of the evening. The stoic practice of gratitude invites you to be present, to observe the play of light on the leaves, to feel the earth beneath your feet, and to marvel at the simple miracle of existence. In these moments, gratitude is not a response to a grand gesture. It is a response to the sheer fact of being alive. Moreover, gratitude acts as a powerful antidote to the toxic seeds of discontent and comparison. Stoicism recognizes that the human mind has a tendency to focus on what is lacking rather than what is present. Gratitude redirects this natural inclination, training your mind to shift from scarcity to abundance. Picture a gardener tending to a garden. As they nurture each plant, they don't obsess over the plants they don't have. Instead, they appreciate the unique beauty of each flower in bloom. Similarly, gratitude is a garden of the mind where you cultivate appreciation for the simple joys, a warm cup of tea, the laughter of a friend, or the beauty of a sunrise. In times of adversity, the practice of gratitude becomes a lifeline. When faced with challenges, it's easy to succumb to a sense of unluckiness. Stoicism, through the lens of gratitude, encourages you to find the silver lining, to seek the lessons and blessings even in the face of adversity. Consider the example of a setback at work. Rather than dwelling on the disappointment, Stoicism prompts you to express gratitude for the opportunity to learn and grow. It reframes the narrative from a tale of misfortune to one of resilience and personal development. The Stoic practice of gratitude is not confined to extraordinary moments, it extends to the mundane fabric of daily life. It's a conscious choice to appreciate the small gestures, the ordinary experiences, and the relationships that enrich your journey. Gratitude is not contingent on external validation or a life devoid of challenges. It is a self-generated source of joy that flows from within. As you weave the threads of gratitude into the tapestry of your life, you discover that the practice is not just an occasional ritual, but a way of being. It's a lens through which you view the world, coloring even the most ordinary moments with hues of appreciation. In the arms of gratitude, Stoicism reveals its transformative power, turning the mundane into the extraordinary and infusing your journey with a profound sense of richness and fulfillment. Number four, embrace adversity. To embrace adversity is not to court suffering, but to view challenges as opportunities for transformation. Stoicism, like a wise mentor, teaches that adversity is not a foe to be defeated, 
but a companion that accompanies you on the path of wisdom and strength. Imagine a blacksmith at the forge, hammer in hand, shaping a piece of molten metal into a resilient tool. Adversity, in the stoic perspective, is the forge of life, and you are the craftsman molding your character. Just as the blacksmith's artistry tempers the metal, the trials you face shape the contours of your resilience, fortitude, and wisdom. Adversity is not a signal of perpetual misfortune, but a call to arms, inviting you to stand tall in the face of life's storms. Stoicism doesn't promise a life without challenges. Rather, it equips you with the tools to navigate them with grace. It's an acknowledgement that the journey, with all its peaks and valleys, is richer and more meaningful when confronted with courage. Consider the image of a seed pushing through the soil in its journey to become a towering tree. The resistance of the soil is not an obstacle. It's a crucial part of the seed's growth. Similarly, Stoicism urges you to see adversity not as an impediment to happiness, but as the very soil from which the seeds of your resilience sprout. Embracing adversity is an active choice, a conscious decision to perceive challenges through the lens of opportunity rather than defeat. In the face of setbacks, the Stoic perspective invites you to inquire, what can I learn from this? How can I emerge from this stronger? It's a mindset that transforms adversity from a source of unluckiness to a catalyst for personal development. Moreover, embracing adversity is a testament to your agency in shaping your narrative. While you may not control the external events that unfold, you wield the power to determine your response. Stoicism, in its essence, encourages you to be the author of your story, even when faced with unexpected plot twists. Consider a mighty oak tree standing resilient in the midst of a storm. Its branches may sway, but its roots remain firmly anchored. Similarly, Stoicism invites you to be deeply rooted in your values and principles, allowing you to weather the storms of life without being uprooted. In the grand symphony of existence, adversity is not a discordant note, but a poignant melody that adds richness to the composition. Stoicism with its unwavering gaze on virtue and personal growth, beckons you to dance to the rhythm of life, even when the music takes an unexpected turn. As you navigate the ebbs and flows of your journey, embracing adversity becomes a sacred dance, a choreography of resilience and growth. Stoicism whispers in your ear, urging you not to fear the challenges, but to step into the dance floor of life with courage and an open heart. In this dance, you not only stop being unlucky in the face of adversity, but emerge as a resilient, wise, and empowered participant in the grand spectacle of existence. Number 5. Remember the impermanence of everything. To remember the impermanence of everything is not a call to pessimism, but a beckoning towards wisdom. It's akin to standing by the shore, watching the waves of time continuously reshape the sands. In the stoic perspective, Recognizing the impermanence of everything becomes a powerful tool for cultivating resilience and inner peace. Consider the changing seasons as a metaphor for life's impermanence. Spring brings the blossoming of new beginnings, summer bathes in the warmth of fleeting moments, autumn gracefully witnesses the letting go of what no longer serves, and winter settles into a quiet repose. The beauty lies not just in each season, but in the seamless flow from one to the next. The stoic wisdom of impermanence is a gentle reminder that the highs and lows of life, much like the seasons, are fleeting. The moments of joy are transient, and so are the moments of sorrow. When you anchor yourself in this awareness, you liberate your spirit from the shackles of attachment and cultivate a profound acceptance of the present moment. Imagine holding a snowflake in the palm of your hand. Each delicate crystal is unique, and yet, in the blink of an eye, it melts away. Life's experiences, too, are as delicate and fleeting as a snowflake. Stoicism encourages you not to clutch at them desperately, but to appreciate their beauty while they last. The impermanence of everything extends beyond external circumstances to the very core of your being. Your thoughts, emotions, and even the cells of your body are in a constant state of flux. The stoic recognition of this impermanence becomes a liberating force, allowing you to detach from the illusion of permanence 
and find solace in the transient beauty of each passing moment. Moreover, the stoic principle of impermanence is a source of strength in the face of adversity. When confronted with challenges, it's easy to succumb to the belief that the difficulty will last forever. Stoicism, through the lens of impermanence, offers a lifeline, reminding you that even the most arduous storms will eventually pass. Consider the image of a river flowing steadily towards the sea. The water may encounter obstacles, but it continues its journey, never clinging to the past. Similarly, in the river of life, embracing impermanence allows you to navigate challenges with a fluid grace, knowing that no matter how turbulent the current, it too shall change. As you integrate the stoic teaching of remembering the impermanence of everything, you embark on a journey of liberation. The grip of anxiety and fear loosens, and you find a deep sense of peace in the recognition that nothing, whether joyful or challenging, is permanent. In this awareness, you discover the beauty of letting go, of flowing with the river of life, and of savoring each precious moment as it unfolds. Number 6. Manage Your Desires and Expectations Managing your desires and expectations in the stoic context is not a call to diminish your dreams, but an invitation to align them with the principles of virtue and the recognition of life's inherent uncertainties. It's akin to tending to a garden, where you nurture the seeds of your aspirations while acknowledging that the harvest is subject to the whims of nature. Consider desire as the compass guiding your journey. Just as a sailor navigates the vast sea, your desires propel you forward. Stoicism, however, emphasizes the importance of steering this desire-driven ship with a steady hand. It encourages you to discern between genuine needs and transient wants, ensuring that your desires are in harmony with the values that lead to a virtuous life. Expectations, like the shadows cast by desires, often pave the way for feelings of unluckiness. When reality diverges from what you anticipated, disappointment may set in. Stoicism invites you to become a skillful navigator, adjusting your sails when the winds of reality change direction. It's a recognition that while you may set a course, the journey may unfold in ways beyond your control. Imagine a traveler with a map in hand, exploring unknown territories. The map represents desires, guiding the way, but the traveler understands that the landscape may differ from the illustrated paths. Stoicism encourages you to cherish the journey itself, adapting to unexpected turns rather than fixating on a rigid destination. Managing desires and expectations becomes a dance between ambition and acceptance. It's an artistry that allows you to pursue goals with passion while understanding that the outcome is not solely within your hands. The stoic perspective liberates you from the chains of unrealistic expectations, enabling you to savor the journey without being entangled in the web of disappointment. Consider a gardener planting seeds in the soil. The gardener doesn't dictate how each seed will grow. Instead, they provide the nurturing conditions for flourishing. Similarly, in life, managing your desires and expectations involves cultivating a mindset that embraces the journey and adapts to the twists and turns of reality. Moreover, Stoicism urges you to examine the root of your desires. Are they driven by societal expectations, comparisons, or a genuine alignment with your values? By introspecting and aligning your desires with virtue, you ensure that your journey is not merely a pursuit of fleeting pleasures, but a meaningful exploration of a life well lived. In the face of challenges, managing desires and expectations acts as a shield against feelings of unluckiness. When confronted with setbacks, stoicism prompts you to reassess, not abandon, your aspirations. It's a recalibration, a recognition that the journey may require detours, but the essence of your purpose remains intact. As you navigate the intricate dance of managing your desires and expectations, stoicism becomes a guiding light. It's a compass that steers you towards aspirations grounded in virtue, a map that acknowledges the uncertainties of the journey, and a mentor that whispers wisdom in the face of disappointment. In this delicate balance, you discover not only resilience in the face of life's uncertainties, but a profound sense of contentment in the unfolding of your unique journey. Number 7. Choose Your Judgments Wisely 
Consider judgment as the painter's brush, each stroke adding hues to the canvas of your reality. In the Stoic framework, the choice of colors isn't arbitrary. It is deliberate and guided by the principles of virtue. Choosing your judgments wisely is akin to being an artist of the mind, creating a masterpiece that reflects a nuanced understanding of the world. Stoicism introduces the dichotomy of control, a fundamental principle that distinguishes between things within your control and those beyond it. The power lies not in altering external events, but in the sovereignty you wield over your judgments and responses. When faced with a situation, Stoicism encourages you to pause, reflect, and choose your judgments with intentionality. Imagine standing at a crossroads, each path leading to a different destination. Choosing your judgments wisely is the signpost that guides you towards the path aligned with virtue. It's a recognition that your judgments shape not only your perception, but also your emotional responses and subsequent actions. Stoicism invites you to view events through a lens of reason rather than emotion. When faced with adversity, for instance, the immediate emotional response might be frustration or despair. Choosing your judgments wisely involves reframing the situation, asking yourself whether the event is within your control, and if not, redirecting your focus to how you can respond virtuously. Consider the analogy of a book. Life unfolds like a story, with each chapter presenting new characters and plot twists. Choosing your judgments wisely is akin to reading the book with a discerning eye, understanding that not every plot point is a tragedy or a triumph. It's an acknowledgement that your interpretation of events holds the power to shape your narrative. Moreover, in the realm of interpersonal relationships, the stoic practice of choosing judgments wisely becomes a beacon of empathy. Rather than hastily labeling someone's actions as good or bad, stoicism encourages you to consider the myriad factors influencing their behavior. It's a recognition that understanding precedes judgment, fostering compassion in your interactions with others. In moments of success, choosing your judgments wisely prevents hubris. It prompts you to recognize that external achievements, while commendable, are not the ultimate measure of a virtuous life. It's an acknowledgement that the pursuit of virtue, rather than external validation, is the true compass guiding your journey. As you weave the stoic practice of choosing your judgments wisely into the fabric of your daily life, you become an artist of resilience, compassion, and wisdom. It's a transformative process that transcends the immediate emotional reactions, allowing you to navigate the complexities of existence with a clarity of mind and a steadfast commitment to virtue. In the realm of judgment, stoicism becomes a guide, empowering you to paint a narrative that reflects not just the events around you, but the character within you. Number 8. Adopt a Long-Term Perspective Stoicism invites us to adopt a long-term perspective, transcending the transient nature of daily ups and downs. By viewing life through the lens of the broader journey, temporary setbacks lose their power to define our overall happiness. Imagine climbing a mountain. Each step may be arduous, but the view from the summit makes the journey worthwhile. Similarly, in life, maintaining a focus on long-term goals provides a roadmap that extends beyond momentary obstacles. By keeping your eyes on the horizon, you navigate challenges with resilience and determination. Number 9. Practice Self-Discipline Self-discipline is the cornerstone of Stoic philosophy. It involves mastering your impulses and aligning your actions with your principles. By cultivating self-discipline, you gain control over your reactions to external events and nurture a sense of inner harmony. Consider the analogy of a charioteer guiding a chariot pulled by wild horses. The horses represent our impulses and desires, while the charioteer symbolizes our rational mind. Without discipline, the horses can lead the chariot astray. Similarly, self-discipline allows you to steer your life in a direction aligned with your values, mitigating the impact of external influences. Number 10. Foster Virtuous Qualities Stoicism places great emphasis on cultivating virtuous qualities as a means of achieving true fulfillment. Virtues such as wisdom, courage, justice, and temperance form the bedrock of a virtuous life. 
By actively practicing these virtues, you not only enhance your own well-being, but also contribute positively to the world around you. Imagine virtue as a well-tended garden. Each action, thought, and decision is a seed that can either cultivate or hinder virtuous growth. By fostering virtues, you not only stop being unlucky in the conventional sense, but also create a life rich in purpose and meaning. In the journey of life, Stoicism serves as a guiding light, offering timeless wisdom on how to stop feeling unlucky. By focusing on what you can control, accepting the nature of life, practicing gratitude, embracing adversity, remembering the impermanence of everything, managing desires and expectations, choosing judgments wisely, adopting a long-term perspective, practicing self-discipline, and fostering virtuous qualities, you embark on a transformative path. Stoicism isn't a magic wand that erases challenges, but it provides a blueprint for navigating them with grace and resilience. As you integrate these teachings into your daily life, you'll find that the storms of unluckiness lose their power to overshadow the sunshine of your inner peace. May the wisdom of Stoicism guide you on a journey towards a luckier, more fulfilling life.